What's up guys, Josh here, and today we're talking about the DB Power Projector. This thing is awesome, especially for how little it costs. Let me tell you more about it. For those of you who are new to home theater systems and you're looking into projectors, this is a great projector to start off with because it offers a ton of awesome features in such a small package. First of all, this thing comes with its own little carry-on pouch, comes with some connectors, a remote controller, and of course the power cable. Now what makes this projector so unique is that it has 500 ANSI lumens of brightness. Now for a projector this small and for this little money, uh, that's very impressive, especially if you have a dedicated room with a projector screen and you want to get the most out of a projector like this, uh, it's great to have that amount of brightness coming out of such a small unit. Now, in order to get the best projection possible, I do recommend getting a projector screen. They're also very affordable. I'll leave some links for you down in the description box below. Otherwise, you can use this with a simple white wall, but again, you're not gonna get the contrast and the overall performance out of these projectors without using a dedicated screen. Now to set up this projector, it is really easy. All you have to do is take the adjustment screw that comes with the projector, place it on the bottom. This will allow you to angle the projector up or down depending on where you place it to put it up on your screen. Now, because it has keystone correction, for those of you who don't know what keystone correction is, it's basically an adjustment that allows you to change the angle of the projection based on where you place the projector. So if you place it off center or in a corner in a room, you have an adjustment there that allows you to correct the image if it seems distorted. We also have a focus style and another keystone adjustment on the projector as well. So to set it up, it is really easy. I actually connected this projector to my Basie's power bank. It only sucks about 100 watts of power. So for those of you who like to go camping, just so you know, this will work with most battery banks that support camping utilities. Once the projector is plugged in, simply put in batteries into the remote controller, turn it on, and this thing has such a quick power on time. My other projectors that I own take about 30 to 45 seconds to turn on. This thing will turn on in about 10 to 15 seconds, basically like a standard television. So that's really awesome. Also, another huge perk about this projector is that it comes with Netflix pre-installed. This projector has a Netflix license, so you don't have to worry about getting a fire stick or hacking the projector somehow and installing Netflix that way. I mean, one of my other projectors doesn't have a license for Netflix and it's an absolute pain to use Netflix on that projector. So I love the fact that we have that built in already on this projector. Also, this projector supports HDMI in, we have two USB ports, we have an audio port and a headphone port. So for all your needs, you can hook up anything you want to this projector. Also, it supports 5G Wi-Fi band signals. So 5G is great for long distance Wi-Fi transmission. This thing supports it, which is great. So if you live in a big house, uh, this will definitely work with that 5G network. We also have Dolby Digital audio supported via Bluetooth, which is something that you also don't really see in projectors like this. So if you want Dolby quality sound, you can definitely use that Bluetooth audio built in and hook it up to your speakers at home. Now there is also a built in speaker on this projector. Here's a little sample of the sound right now. Now, while we're also talking about sound, this thing does have a built-in fan. Now, the fan, it's not too noisy. It runs at about 55 decibels, so you can place it in the back of a room, and I don't think you will really have an easy time hearing that fan noise. It's pretty quiet for the most part. Also, we have onboard controls on the upper panel here. We have everything that you need to get this projector up and running, and it also has selection buttons, so you don't necessarily need to use the remote. Now, along with the keystone adjustments, we also have that focus knob that I was mentioning earlier. 
I like how we have a manual focus knob. It's just a lot easier to access focus immediately without having to go into another menu. So I like that focus style and we have another keystone adjustment as well, which will help out with the warping on the projection image, especially when you're not dead on center when placing this projector. Now let's go on to the picture quality. Now this is a native 1080p projector. So it's gonna give you that really nice crisp 1080p picture. I do have a 100 inch screen, but I did find that set to 80 inches, this thing will perform the best, especially when it comes down to brightness. So I would say 80 inches is the best way to use this projector. That's why I had it set up dead center in my room. This supports all the way up to 200 inches of screen real estate and down to 40 inches of screen real estate but 80 inches again i think is the best way to use this projector now i did mention that you could use this for a home theater system but where i'm going to use this is mainly for events and parties and if i go out camping this is the perfect projector to bring with you and use it in those cases as well that only 100 watts of power that it takes up can be powered by most power banks that are meant for camping utilities. Now dead on center, the picture quality looks great, crisp. I love the colors here. And even when the camera is placed at an angle, you can see the quality of the projector. We don't lose that much image quality when it comes down to viewing this at an angle. You do get minor distortions in the picture quality and you do have a slight lack of contrast at times but overall you will enjoy this projector because it is so bright and it just immerses you into the content that you're watching. So if you're looking for a projector that doesn't break the bank, that offers great picture quality and can be used in basically any situation, well, I would recommend this DB Power projector. Check out the link down below. It's an awesome device, so make sure you have a look at it. All right, I'll see you in another video. Peace.